We're recording. Oh, there's the count. Yeah, yeah, we're counting seconds. All right. So, little uh, middle segment here. Camera angle ain't the best, so hear me. Hopefully you hear me okay. I'll try to make suggestions clear. Uh, when we last met, we were at the end of warm-up number two. We did warm-up one to touch and warm spine. We did warm-up two to bring sh hips and shoulders into it. And of course, we started every damn thing. Everything began with some quieting, some centering, some tuning in to breath, to kind of quiet things down. So, all right, we'll uh, assume that we're quieted down, but can't pretend we're warmed up. So be gentle. Pay attention to what things feel like as we go through this. And uh, feel free to push pause and warm up before we start. You can find those warm-ups in the library there. Just look them up. And but mainly, some of these things that might not feel right, you may not dig them, they might not be your thing. You can stop and hang out wherever you feel right and flirt with that, play with it. And when you're ready to move on, you do move on. Again, you got the video. You can come back to this whenever you want. So uh, time is short. I got to fit this into eight minutes. So I'm going to quit rambling and start uh, breathing and moving. We finished warm up to standing, steady and centered and still, breathing and feeling. Take an inhale, reach up, length. Exhale, fold. You know what, scratch that. Inhale, come right back to standing. We want to get right hip really open and ready for where we're going. So let's put weight in the left leg on an inhale. Lift your right knee in front of you. We're going to bring our shin kind of horizontal. Palms up. Just take a hold of your shin bone. Kind of like you, you know, at the gym, going to do some bicep curls. You have your shin uh, close to horizontal as is appropriate. And if you're not feeling it, we'll just start bringing your shin bone towards your nipple line. Just contract your biceps. A couple breaths here. I'll put a little bend in your left knee and let's rest the outside of our right ankle, the far end of our left thigh. A little core, a little thigh, a little butt, some balance, some strength. Take a breath, lengthen breastbone from pelvis. Exhale, squat and fold part way, just enough to feel something deep down under your right butt cheek. You can hang here or you want to put some twist to it. And breathe in as you bring your right elbow around. Plant it in the sole of right foot. Palms together. Now breathe out and let the exhale take you into a twist. I got my eyes down, but if you want to look up, it's kind of adventurous. Inhale. Come back up to standing. Reach high. Just extend your right leg out or knee up, whatever. But spine is long, arms are long. Breathe out. We're going to simultaneously fold forward, lift the right leg behind you. Bending over, lifting a leg. Take an inhale and over the inhale, hop one or two times, three times if you need. Hop your left foot back to plank. Exhale your right foot to plank. Lower with control. Inhale, here's your back bend, cobrasana. Exhale, maybe push up, maybe not. We go to down dog with your right leg. Inhale, take it up behind you. Exhale, bend your right knee like you're bringing your heel to your left glute. Oh, push into your right hand, lift your right knee and feel something. Take another breath. Exhale, shift your weight into your left hand. Continue to flip over. Roll to outer left foot. Bring right foot down. Reach your right hand overhead and lift your core, lift your torso on an inhale. Exhale, lower butt to the ground. 
Let your right knee fall open, right foot in your left thigh. Inhale, both hands up. Exhale, fold a long torso over your left leg. Oh, there's some hamstring, some glute. Got my chest forward, my eyes forward, my ribs down along my thigh. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring hands back to where they were as you roll to the outer left foot. Inhale, continue rolling left foot, lift right hand leg up behind where it once was. Exhale, step right foot forward. Keep your right toe, left toes down, left heel up. Inhale, come on up, torso and arms. Mm, push left hip forward. Left heel back. We inhale up to this. We exhale, we can just ground our left heel. Arms wide, chest and left wall. Right knee and left hip mm, separate from each other, nice. Push right knee forward, left hand back, spine erect. Take a breath. Exhale, bring right hand down, inside of right foot. You can park up on your thigh if you need to. Left hand is high. Now if you got your right hand down low, just kind of swiggle your torso inside of your right thigh. Drop your left hand behind your back, if you like. Take your right hand and grab a hold of a right ankle and start to finagle and swiggle your right shoulder down inside of your right knee. And then just reach your right hand back around the outside of your right thigh. If your fingers meet, take a bind. If they don't, grab some shirt or some Lululemons. Use the back of your hands to press your pelvis towards that wall you're looking at. Roll your left shoulder open. Take a look up if you like. One breath. Mm. Exhale. Put your right hand on the mat outside your right foot. Left hand on the mat. The left foot stays flat. I'm going to put the web of my right hand kind of up against my outer right heel. I'm going to move my weight into my right hand and bend my right knee. Use my left hand to help, but grab a hold of my upper right arm. Take a breath, left hand high. Exhale, left hand comes back to the mat, right leg still bent and holding, come up on left toes. If you want to get funky with me, bend your elbows like a chaturanga, weight comes forward. Take a breath and just flirt with lifting your left leg back there. Exhale, set it down. Mm. Inhale, swing right leg back to plank. Exhale, come on down with control. Inhale, another back bend. Mm. Exhale, push down dog. Take a look forward. Step or hop. Feet to hands. Lengthen out on an inhale. Long torso folds on an exhale. Arms wide. Inhale up to standing, exhale, weight in the right leg, and then take a breath and just lift your left knee up in front of you. Adjust a little. <laughs> All right. Left knee is lifted, right leg a little shaky, huh? And again, we're just going to do some bicep curls with our left shin. Bring it close to the horizontal. You're going to know when you're there because, well, your knee is going to let you know. You're going to start to feel left hip kind of outside there is nice. Just find that place. Too much, not enough, right between. Take a breath. <sighs> Exhale. Outer left ankle to distant part of your right thigh. A little knee bend to make a place to set it. You can reach your arms like wings. And lift your breastbone on an inhale. Find your balance. Exhale, just squat down in a little fold until you're still feeling that spot you felt when you were lifting your leg in front of you. If you wish to twist, take a breath as you bring your left elbow to sole of left foot. That may be enough. You got a twist right there. You want some more? Use exhales, palms together. One or two exhales will. Mm, bring you into twist. Inhale, come on up. 
touch the refrigerator so you don't fall. Reach high, then extend your left leg or not, but get a breath and lengthen out of this. And just like a dance, we exhale and simultaneously fold as we lift the left behind us. Let an inhale, hop. One, two, three hops back to plank. Breathe out as you lower your left leg and come on down. Inhale for back bend asana. Exhale, press, lift, land, exhale, and down dog. Now, if you're living in a camper, <laughs> make a shift for some space. Inhale, left leg goes up. Exhale, bend your left knee and open left side body. Notice. Lifting knee as you push in the left hand. Mm, there's something sweet there. One more breath. Exhale. Let's make our flip. Weight in the right hand as you start to lower. Left foot down. I'm on metatarsals. What are metatarsals? Your balls of your feet. Reach your left arm overhead. Lift core. Breathe in and lengthen out. Mm, exhale. Come to seated. Let the exhale. Drop your left knee open. Sole the left foot inside of right thigh. Breathe in, reach. This is lengthening. Breathe out, fold. Exhales are contracting. Ooh. Inhale again, lengthen, reach. And exhale, we just rotate our hands over to the right, back where they were, rolling the outside of right foot. Inhale, roll to right, metatarsals as you lift your left leg back to where it once was. Breathe out, step left foot up. No, stay up on right toes and then inhale, come on up to your crescent pose. Breathe out, ground, flatten your right foot, open arms wide. Let's take a minute here to refine some stuff. Look for things to open up and then dwell in those spaces you open. One breath. Mm, left hand goes down to the mat. Hey, you can put your right hand on your hip if you like, but just take a minute. Let's rotate our torso and get down inside of our left eye. Now, line it up. We don't want to send our ass across the room. Let's line things, lengthen things. Lift right hand, open. Drop right hand behind your back. Scooch and swiggle left shoulder behind left knee and then just reach up around behind your left thigh and take a grip. Now look where I'm at. You can feel ass is running away, folded, bent, kinked up. So just use the back of your hands to lengthen out. Push pelvis, roll right shoulder open. Take a look up. Inhale. Exhale. Put your left hand on the mat, kind of outside your left foot. Right hand down. Now again. My left hand, the web, is just kind of sucked up against the outer edge of my left heel. I'm going to shift my weight mostly into my left hand. I'm on my flat right foot, and I might, I might bend my left knee and grab a hold of my arm. And use my right hand to bring it up a little more, get a grip, weeble wobble. Now just inhale, open, lengthen, right hand high. Exhale, bring right hand down. Bend elbows like chaturanga, up on right ball, toes. And then when you're ready, just flirt with lifting your right leg, some back core. Breathe, mm, lower leg down. Inhale, back to plank. Exhale, lower to your belly. Take a breath, cobra. Exhale, push, lift, melt into down dog asana. Come to your knees, cross your ankles, sit back, make your way to your back. I hope this camera angle got me. Now, <laughs> so we're going flat to our back. Let's get another touch to inner hips, pelvis area, hug your right knee in, mm. good, 
Bend your left knee, foot flat. Now just let the right, left knee fall open. Take your two fingers to your right big toe or grab the outside of your right foot. Bring your right ankle over your right knee. Good. Now just start bringing the inner right foot. Use your left hand, help bring it. Float the inner right foot in front of your face. Lift your left knee, straighten your left leg, set it down. Bring your right shoulder again, kind of inside of your right knee. Wrap your arm around and right arm around and use your right hand to grab a hold of the outer right ankle. Left hand, take a hold of the back of your neck and base of the skull. Now just use your right tricep to open up right hip. And let's bring some core. Point your left metatarsals. Lift your shoulders. And bring your, I don't know, 12 inches, 30 centimeters. Lift your left leg. I'm so sweaty. Now just breathe where you feel stretching. Exhale where you feel core contracting. How about some, ooh, a little left psoas there. How about one more breath? Mmm, coming out. Easy, easy. Hug right knee in, hug left knee in. Keep your left knee hugged. Set your right foot flat a few inches away from left sit bone. Now just use your left hand, get a hold outside of left foot or big toe. Just start, drop your right knee open and start bringing left ankle over left knee and just drop in. I like to spend more time, but the clock is ticking. So how about we use our right hand to help bring the inside of the left foot somewhere kind of in front of your face. You're going to feel down, outside, my left outer thigh, deep under left glute, some, some hip meat there. Straighten your right leg, set it flat. Let's start to finagle, to swiggle our left shoulder inside of our left knee. Best of your ability. Might be some tricep, whatever. Just get it kind of back there and some leverage. Left hand goes behind your left calf and get a hold of the leg, the foot, the ankle. Right hand just brace to the back of your neck, face of skull. Now just use your left shoulder, left tricep to Oh, Oklahoma, open something there in the undercarriage. For core action, lift shoulders, straight right leg, bring it up about 12 inches. You'll know where your degree is because you'll feel a little heat in the belly. So get a few breaths here. Left side is opening. Right side is cooking. Breath is moving steady. Face is calm. Come on out. All right. A little rough, but here's what it is. I hope you enjoy that. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Cool? Adios.